Hey, you guys, it is absolutely freezing. And if I turn on the car, you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. And um, there's just so many people in my mom's house right now, so I can't really make a video in there as badly as I want to get out of this whole making videos from a car thing. This is what it is. But I'm making a video today because I've read some comments and um, had some new subscribers. And some of the comments are from people who are um, within like their first month of jumping off Suboxone. And I just want to let you know, you guys know that when I say I'm praying for you, I'm really praying for you. And um, in return, I hope you're praying for me because um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I am three years off of Suboxone and opiates, no drug relapses. And after I got off Suboxone, I ran into a huge problem with alcohol. Um, so that's where I'm at now. I'm a year sober from alcohol, three years off of Suboxone, um, but I've been saved um, and heaven bound for, let's see, like 30 years. Um, so yeah, that's my story. That's my situation. But two verses popped into my head. Um, when I think about one of you guys who's a month off of Suboxone, I want to like warn you, like, not that we're the same, because we're all different, even addicts, it's, addiction isn't the same for everyone, um, I never, ever, ever thought I'd have an issue with alcohol, um, that came up out of nowhere, and that actually will lead me into this verse that I'm going to read with you guys, um, let's see, it is, it is, uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So, the Bible's true, obviously, and this proved to be true for me. I never thought I'd have alcohol addictions, um, and it just snuck up out of nowhere, and obviously it's my fault, it's my sin, I made the bad choice to start drinking to begin with. Um, and I can say all the excuses. I mean, it's not like I just woke up one morning after getting off of Suboxone and was like, Ooh, you know, let me, let me ruin my life with alcohol. Like there were reasons I was going through things and the devil was walking about just, you know, seeking who he could devour. And there I was, um, looking for something to numb pain and, my whole point of this is um, not to be like a Debbie Downer, but even if you are getting off Suboxone and you're off Suboxone, um, it's good to stay in the Word. It's good to get a group of people to talk to, even if it's an NA group or whatever. Um, or not to be cocky. I think I got a little cocky, like, or prideful, like, I got off Suboxone, like, of course the Lord, I know it was only through the Lord that I was able to get off Suboxone, but I think maybe I got a little too high and mighty, and then, then when I started running into alcohol problems and was still making videos, the shame of it, like, I don't know, I don't even know where I'm going with this, I just want to let you guys know, um, that verse, and it's true, it says, um, let me read it again. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Like, even if you're off Suboxone for a couple years like me, like, I have to keep it in check. I have to remember that I need to stay sober and I need to stay vigilant. And I have to know and remember that my flesh is weak. Like, the addiction the devil knows that Jessica Barthel has addiction issues and that's a way he can destroy my life. He can never take away my salvation because um, once you're saved, you're always saved, but he can do a lot of damage in my life through addictions. And so I have to stay vi vigilant and I have to stay sober and I just want to encourage you guys to do the same. Um, the sun is going down, so I'm sorry this video is so choppy and so I don't even know. But another verse that popped into my mind um, 
another person commented about um, how they feel like they're spiritually drained or there's something spiritual going on negatively every time they use Suboxone. I didn't respond uh, to that message because I just have mixed feelings about that. Um, How do I even explain this? I, I made another video called Once Saved, Always Saved, and I'll repeat some of the things I've said there. Um, even when I was on Suboxone, I knew that I was still going to heaven um, because that's a promise from the Lord. You know, um, whoever believeth on the Lord Jesus Christ is saved. It's not by works, lest any man boast. So salvation has nothing to do with um, what you're doing, whether it's living a life of addiction or going to church and being squeaky clean. Like if you've put your faith in Christ, then you're saved. Um, and that's a promise from the Lord. But this verse popped into my head for that person. Um, so this is first Corinthians 10 chapter 21. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of and of the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? And then it says this, All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. So right there, because I'm saved, because I've put my faith in Jesus Christ, that he was born of the Virgin Mary, that he died and rose again, Um, that he paid for all my sins, literally everything's lawful for me. I could drink all day. I could relapse and uh, go back to pills or Suboxone, and I'm still saved. Like the Bible says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. So yeah, I could go back to addiction and it wouldn't harm me. Uh, It wouldn't take away my salvation. But what good does that do for me? Like what good, how, what I want personally in my life is to serve the Lord. Um, I, like the Bible says, I do want the Lord to look at me someday and say, um, I'm so emotional, uh, good job. Well done. My good and faithful servant. So how can I, how would the Lord say that to me if I just spent my life wasted, you know, just, just doing drugs like how how would that please the lord the one who died on the cross and paid for all my sins he's the one i want to please and um yeah i'm just emotional today but so all things are lawful for me but all things are not expedient all things are lawful for me but all things edify not so to the person that said they want to get off suboxone because they feel it's uh impacting them negatively spiritually. I just hope that you're not saying you're going to lose your salvation or that it's going to change your um, path of eternity by doing Suboxone. Being on Suboxone doesn't put someone in hell. Doing drugs doesn't put someone to hell. Being an alcoholic doesn't put someone to hell. Um, It's not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ that causes somebody to go to hell. So anyways, I think I should wrap this up because the sun is going down and um, I'm not in video mode today. My words are all over the place and I got to rush off to church. But God bless you guys who are getting off Suboxone or just watching my videos. Um, I do pray for you. Again, please pray for me. God bless.